How many of you have ever noticed that smart, capable people sometimes do dumb things with their money? It's not you, of course. <laughs> I say my money's for adventure. You know what that means? Here's what it means. I drive, and you can follow me out today, I drive a 1997 Honda CRV. Really, I do. And people think, but you're so successful, so famous, so handsome. How can you drive? <laughs> That's what they say to me. They say, how can you drive such an old car? And I say, because my money is for adventure. It's not for transportation. So I spent the month of May with my two-year-old in Spain. The whole month. But these are the choices we make when we know what our money is for, and most of us don't know that. <laughs> OK, someone at this table, what's your money for? <coughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh, you guys have to check these people out. They're doing two things. So the first thing they're doing is they're looking me straight in the eye, and they're saying, don't you dare. <laughs> That's the first thing. And then the other half of the table, it's super cute. They're, they're like this. I think my arm fell off. Oh my God, it fell off. It just fell off. Oh my God. Your arm didn't fall off. Can you be super gracious, Krista, and tell me what your money is for? Um, my money is for freedom. Awesome, so fantastic. You know how many karma points you get when you speak in a room like this? It's huge. I went to uh, elementary school in London, Ontario, Claire Brenton. And after school, we would all race out of school like 10-year-olds did, and we would all uh, pile into my friend Rob Greenhouse's mom's beige Omega, two-door. So these doors were like a barn door. It was like, Wah! And she would open this huge door, and I kid you not, 10 children would race into the back of the car. We didn't have seat belts. We were stacked like Pringles in a can. <laughs> like, that's how we worked. So I tell you that because in those days, we were oblivious to the consequences of not wearing a seatbelt. Those consequences we know today are fatalities and fines. The whole culture has changed. So as a parent, if my kid was in someone else's car without wearing a seatbelt, I would lose my mind. In the 1970s, it's just what you did. It's just how it worked. It's no big deal. So we've started to appreciate the consequences of not wearing seatbelts, and we are starting to appreciate the consequences of not having a handle on your money. Everyone, if you could take out your credit cards. Just gonna take a second for you all to get one of these moolah la money minders. But while we're handing them out, everybody pull out your credit card, okay? This moolah la money minder is designed to help you embrace community. Talk about your friends and talk with your friends and family about the things that are most important to you. So here's how it works. You're going to be in the food court or the mall or out for dinner, and you're going to pull out your credit card to pay for your portion of the meal. And your friend is going to go, what's that? And you are either going to love me or hate me. And you're going to say, well, I mean, this guy, he was really loud, very high energy, but a little odd. And we heard him speak, and he asked us to put on what our context for money is. So my money's for adventure. Awesome. And then in the back, he asked us to put down some goals. And one of my goals is um, to build a little bunkie at our little cottage. And another goal is to live part-time in New York City after I stop earning a paycheck. And you, you and your friend will have then had a conversation about money that you may never have had before. As a country, we are not on track. Our debt levels are going through the roof. People are paying egregious amounts on credit card debt. And our kids are not learning what they need to learn in order to be happy, successful contributors to this country, to this economy, and to this world. And that is a problem. It is a really, really big problem. But there is hope. But in order for us to take advantage of that hope, we need to be smart, capable people doing smart things with our money. Creating context, addressing consequences, managing complexity, and engaging our community. So my request to you is, in the next 24 hours, take one action. Don't have this be just another conference, just another event where you listen and do nothing. 
have this be a conference where you heard something that had an impact on your behavior in the next 24 hours. Thank you very much for being inviting me to be a part of your conference today. I appreciate it.